Well, right now, working through the process of, of who's going to be, you know, running the, uh, the defensive side of us. Uh, I'm really excited about the staff, but I am working through that process of, of doing what's best for the, the players and, and the Titans, but excited about the group of guys that we have and, um, you know, about how we expect to play defense with the Titans. Well, I'll never be, uh, as you can tell, I'll never be too thin, as, as, as you can see. Um, I missed too many meals, but, uh, you know, my job is to always do what's best for the team. And, you know, my role as the head coach is to be, um, to be around and be in meetings. I think that's one of my, my strengths that I feel like I can go in and be involved in, in the offense and the defense and the special teams. Uh, that will continue, um, you know, whatever path that we go down. Well, veteran, you know, veteran presence. It, it's, um, it's a knowledgeable football coach, a passionate football coach, um, a guy that coached me uh, in Pittsburgh. Um, I think he'll be a great veteran presence for our, um, you know, our young group of inside linebackers. You know, right now I'm still working through that process, and you know, there's there's a lot of chances, but. Um, you know, right now Jim's just you know focused on, on coaching the inside linebackers and learning that position and, and getting to know uh, those players. Yeah, you know, Kamale, I, I always appreciated um, his effort, and I think that was the first thing that I that I recognized and wanted to to make sure that that he knew was that you know guys that play hard for our football team and play with a great effort and finish. Um, you know, we're going to try to find places for. And you know, I think that he always wanted to make plays and, and do well. And, and sometimes uh, in doing that, you know, created um, some open areas uh, in other places and just talked to him about doing his job and making the plays that he was supposed to make, and that would be plenty. Uh, he did that uh, down the stretch and was proud of him, uh, how he played and his effort and his, and his toughness. And, and, again, it wasn't perfect, but – but I could always count on great effort from Kamale. Will we be looking at running back options? Absolutely. You know, I think that we always look, you know, John, um, I appreciate um, John's um, willingness to involve me in the process of um, finding the right players for, for our team. And that will be um, at all positions, quarterback, running back, Offensive line, defensive line. I mean, we're we're going to try to find the best players uh, and the right fit for our team. <coughs> um, you, you know, I think in this league, um, you, you know, you're going to have to find ways to affect the quarterback, and you can either uh, be in really tight coverage or you can or you can rush the passer. So, um, you know, we, we're going to try to do things that that get us to to rush the passer, whether that by scheme or personnel. So it's important. Uh, you know, again, I loved his attitude and his and his. Um, he, he was excited to learn, and I think that um, we needed to get him healthy and, and get him right. And from what I've seen at the end of the season, when he was training and, and you know, working with Frank off on the side and the trainers, it looks like a player that you know we'll be able to work with there in April and, and see where he's at. Well, it, you know, nobody loves Johnny more than me. You know, I love his attitude in the meetings, and I can count on him um, being engaged in the meetings and focused and, and willing to learn and study and improve. And the more that we um, asked of him, um, the, the, the more that he did. And, and so he, you know, whether we hand the football to him or toss it to him or get him in the open field, uh, made some great catches um, as the season wore on. And, um, you know, excited to keep working with Johnny. And, you know, we're, we're going to try to feature, you know, the players that, that can help us win, and, and Johnny is one of those. Um, you know, Ryan did a lot of great things for us. He came in in a, in a tough situation, uh, led our football team, and you know, all those players that have expiring contracts. You know, that's that's John's job and my job to help um, put our football team together, and uh, we continue to have those conversations. I want all our best, I want our really good players all to all to come back. You know, that's how that goes. <laughs> well, 
Well, he was physical. He was durable. Um, you know, takes great care of himself and uh, was able to, uh, to to give us that spark that we needed that, that we felt like was going to help us uh, do some things, not only to get into the playoffs, but to be successful you know, in the playoffs. And um, that, that goes with, with the running game, with taking care of the football, playing great defense, fundamentals and technique. Um, you know, I know the old line was extremely happy and did a great job for him, the tight ends, the receivers. You know, it's not just one guy that uh, you know you hand him the ball and and see what he can do. There's a lot of guys that go into to, to making things work on offense and on defense. He's a guy that had a lot of carries last year. So taking that from last year to this year, if he's back, is that something like an area of concern? Back to back, 300 to 400 carries this year. You know, I, this is I usually just ask the players if if they're okay, and I've, I've never had a player say no, I'm not not okay to to get the ball. Or, or, you know, are you tired? No. You know, do you want to play? Yeah. So that's usually how I handle it. It's like coming, you know, if you're a pass rusher, you want to come out of the game in two minutes? No, I'll stay in there and rush. Again, we have a lot of players um, with expiring contracts. That's part of this, um, this business. And, and, again, excited that John has allowed me to, to be involved with the process of bringing – having a conversation of, of how we want to put our football team together. And you know, we'll have to make decisions. Um, free agency is a two-way street. Players have to, have to want to be back, and, and teams have to make uh, tough decisions on, on who to bring back. So you know, we continue to have those conversations. You know, I think the consistency is a, a huge part of uh, success, um, prolonged success. success to be able to do it over and over and repeatedly um, play at a high level. Um, so again, we're all working to, to try to be more consistent, try to be more consistent players and, uh, and, and, and more consistent coaches. Uh, we had 31 pre-snap penalties on offense. <clears throat> so when we complain about how we are on third down, um, that would be one thing to to fix and not make it third and seven um, or make it second and, and 13 and, and try to convert those long yardage situations by not uh, having pre-snap penalties. Um, you know, defensively, we have to continue to improve our, you know, our red zone. We went from first to, to last or close to last and, and we have to find out why uh, and do a better job there. You know, we weren't, uh, you know, we were, we we're good in third down. We we're good in, you know, the run game. But, but again, when you, when you can be really good in the red zone, you can keep teams, uh, make them kick field goals. You have a chance to win games. Offensively, we have to run more plays. You know, we had the, the second most uh, yards per play, but we had the third fewest plays. And you know, we got to run more plays. It doesn't take a genius to understand that. We just have to find ways to convert uh, and be better on third down. The tempo on. Well, it's not that we're going fast. I mean, you can you can run plays and you can run them fast and go three and out. Uh, it's not about as you know the tempo and the speed. You know, uh, the Chiefs huddle every play. You know, that's just what they do, and they run plenty of plays. And but they're efficient. You know, they convert um, third down, and so we have to do better and stand. You know, we made a commitment after the bye week of figuring out why we were not very good. It was because we were in too many third and longs, and so. Uh, the numbers will tell you that the, the less time you can spend in third and long and, and the more time you can spend in third and three or four, uh, you're going to convert more third downs and, and then you know, continue those drives. We've had those conversations all year about, you know, why aren't you getting this guy the ball more? Or why isn't this guy doing it? Well, we've we got to be able to run more plays to, to get those players uh, that we want to focus on, whether it be the tight end, the receiver, the runner. Um, we have to have more plays to get those guys the opportunity to, to make plays for us. Sure, there's a lot of guys, you know, that whether it's, um, you know, I, I don't know what element was missing. We threw the ball over people's head uh, plenty. We threw it to AJ on a, on a four yard route and he ran 70 yards. So I'll get back with you and you can, you can tell us what we need and what we're missing. Seven yards of play, second in the NFL.
Well, the whole combine and evaluation, you have to watch the tape. It really, one thing that I, I've enjoyed doing with John is watching these guys back to back at the same position. So you put seven or eight players on there and you just watch them back to back and you can start to see, okay, maybe this is the guy that kind of creeps ahead. And then you use the combine and the interview um, and the workout or the individual workout or the pro day to try to, you know, make a profile of the player. But I think that's something that's really, I think, helped us is being able to watch those guys back to back and say, okay, that guy, you can see when he moves, maybe it moves a little quicker or when he puts his foot in the ground, um, he has a little bit better burst uh, maybe than the other two players. I don't know. You'd have to ask Ryan. I, you know, I mean, I don't, I've never played quarterback uh, in the National Football League. So, again, he was a great leader for us. Um, but how tough that was, I, I think you'd have to catch Ryan. A very accurate passer, um, you know, a player that uh, has got great command of the pocket. You know, we try to mix um, some of the three-man rushes up on him, and, and when he sees that, a lot of quarterbacks will just, ex, you know, escape the pocket and go out of the pocket where we where we want him to go. And um, you know, Tom did a great job of staying in the pocket when we when we mix some of those three-man rushes in. Um, a great command of, of the offense. He's a great leader. So that's that's what I saw. No, it's good. When you, you say you're in the loop with John on this, but when you go into a season, there's a lot of uncertainty with the three of How does that affect your approach going about your offseason? I, I, I tell the players and, and the coaches that whoever comes in the meeting room uh, on April 20th, that's who I'll coach. And whoever shows up, when we end up getting to 53 guys and 10 guys on the practice squad, um, I'll, I'll do my best to coach them and, and try to put the players in the best position, not only to help themselves, but, but to help the team. And, and that's really been my stance uh, for as long as I can remember. Well, I mean, John and I have those conversations every single day about, you know, how, how do we want our football team to look? Um, you know, we're, we're going we're gonna to commit to doing things uh, how we believe uh, is best, and that's to play with great effort and finish, to concentrate on the details, um, to eliminate foolish penalties and to uh, take care of the football and, and try to turn it over. Those, those aren't going to change. Uh, those are what we call team keys, and those are going to stay the same uh, as long as I'm the head coach. <clears throat> All we were looking for is a great attitude in his rehab, and he attacked his rehab. Um, Jeff's a, a, a great young man to be around. He cares a lot about his teammates. I would say he's an unbelievable teammate. Um, I, I appreciated the fact, and I know our coaches did and our organization did, um, that, he, that he pushed through um, some discomfort as he was working through um, his rehab and his return to play. Um, and, and as you watch, I think that there's a lot of plays that he impacted, and he was uh, very disruptive. Uh, but there is, the exciting thing is there's a lot of room for improvement uh, in technique and pad level. Um, those are all great things. Um, you know, probably those conversations that I may have had with Dean saying, hey, let, let's go with this, and that I, you know, that, that's one less avenue. Um, I'm very, you know, I know what we call every, you know, every play on defense and on offense and on special teams and um, try to have input and, and help uh, in all three of those phases, so you know that would probably eliminate one um, one chain of command or one one communication going to 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 Dean and Dean going to to the linebacker. Depends on the day, you know. There's there's a lot of times that you know we're talking before the play, or I'll have something that I want called on third down, and you know, when, whenever. You know, hey Arthur, I'd like to run this. That's kind of how it goes. Um, you know, Tom's a teammate and a former teammate. He's a friend. He'll always be a friend. And you know, I I I know with like a lot of people, he'll do what's what's best for him and his family. Um, and wherever that may be, I'm not sure.
Sure, and I, and I think it's important that everybody has their own personality. You guys have your own personality. You know, Teron's got a certain style, whether you like it or not, whether I like it or not, he's got his own style. Um, but, uh, yeah, you know, Midge is composed. He, he's very, um, he is different than Kerry, and, and I think that that'll be really good. I think he's got a lot of knowledge and a lot of range in our defense, having, having coached with, with Anthony um, in Houston. You know, I'm excited that, that he's going to be able to to, uh, to bring a lot of knowledge to, to, the, to the secondary. It seems like Coach Kerry and uh, Coach Booker, they worked together mm -hmm. well we saw. What is it that made you think Coach Midget and uh, Coach Booker? I, I, I just think that having watched um, these guys interact and talk through defense as we've been watching, you know, in the offseason and the cut-ups and how he can enhance and say, hey, we, we kind of ran into these same issues and this is kind of what we did. And Book's like, okay. You know, and I've watched these guys, um, you know, books helped him with our terminology and, and what maybe we called something differently than they called it in Houston. I've watched Anthony work with book about, hey, let's maybe look at tweaking this or, you know, how, how we're going to do things to, to make things better. Yeah. You know, Nate, I would say would be a versatile player. I don't think that right now, um, you know, that's something that we could we could look at. But um, here, here's what I know about Nate: his his first game in the NFL uh, was was in Atlanta. It was on the road. It was loud. Um, you know, Grady Jarrett is a, is a great player, and I know that Nate lined up across from him and he blocked him and he didn't flinch and he didn't turn it down. Um, so it was promising. And again, we're going to work through a lot of other things as the season went along. But he improved, and he, and he played against some really good players, and he got beat sometimes. But sometimes he he blocked his guy, you know, five yards downfield on on run plays, and you know, he picked up games and, and helped us, you know, create a really good pocket. So those are all things that I was um, proud of him for, and I know that he's only going to get better. Well, I think when you can have a team that holds um, players hold each other accountable. Um, then you can really have a chance to succeed in this league. Um, I think that I can only do so much as far as holding players accountable. I, I do that every single day, um, and it's part of my job, and I enjoy it. But when players can hold each other accountable and understand the system and, and be able to coach players as well, um, sometimes uh, you know a teammate is, can be the best coach uh, that you can have. Thank you.